Hey guys, so I thought this would be a fun, quick little video. My mom found my Sailor Moon trading card binder from when I was a kid. I also have a binder full of Buffy cards, Little Mermaid cards, which I believe was the first thing I ever collected, Power Rangers, Pokemon, and I think that's it. But anyway, so I liked trading cards as a kid, but specifically I liked Sailor Moon. So I was really into dating everything, so I dated this 97 to 98, so I was 10 years old when I made this binder, 9 or 10. And as you can see, it's on my super cool <laughs> Sailor Moon sheet. Um, I used the bedspread and pillowcase as a kid, but I did not use the sheets because I found them scratchy. So that's why it looks so nice, because it's basically brand new. I have a lot of memories attached to these cards. I would go to Toys R Us with my mom and they had a vending machine. And that's where you would get these American, at least this series, um, Sailor Moon cards. So she'd give me like, you know, a bag full of quarters and we would just go through them. And <laughs> she really supported my Sailor Moon obsession. So I'm really glad she found these because I haven't seen these in so long. There was, I think there was three series. I'll have to double check. Um, I, it's not a complete set, but I mean, we also have some Japanese ones in here too, but let's go through them. So as you can tell, you know, I mean, her name is Mina. That's not the case. This is from the original dub of Sailor Moon. This is what I saw as a kid. This is the version I grew up with. Um, obviously now I like the Viz version better because it's more true to the show and I think it's just better. But anyway, so, you know, in this, instead of Usagi, it's going to be Serena, etc. But I like the way they titled these. Like, look at this. Just posing. <laughs> and this one I think is really cute. The winning team. I like how it has Venus right up front with her because Venus was my favorite. Um, so here, let's do it this way. So we have Princess of the Moon. Thrown for a loop. This is so funny. I always liked this photo when they're all trying to squeeze through um, a building. And then it says something fun on the back. Sailor Venus presents Secrets of the Guardian pa Planets. Uranus, the planet of invention. Uranus stands for originality, invention and progress. So they just have these random little facts on the back. Like the ones with Ray. It's like a little quiz. Serena, I like how Serena is trademarked by the way. <laughs> Serena can disguise herself into anyone by using a magical item. What is this item called? They call it a Luna's pen. See, it's just, it's so good. I don't know, I just love these trading cards. I'm so nostalgic for these. They're really cool looking. Like, I mean, uh, the merchandise we got in the 90s was not that good, but these trading cards, I feel like were really well done. And don't worry, I'm not gonna go through all of these like one by one. Oh yeah, and then instead of Mamo, his name was Darian. Remember that when Sexito Mask was named Darian? I always love this photo from the intro. So good. But yeah, I would just look through these and draw from them. And I just, I don't know. I just really liked these. So this is really cool. I knew we did a throw them away, but like, I was just worried. Okay, so this says right up here, series three. So this is series three. And these are cool. I, I always liked that pink purple background with the white stars that they gave uh, Sailor Moon merchandise back then. I saw it look cool. Another thing, they always made them look really angry for the US merchandise. Like you can even see it on this. Like look how angry Jupiter is. Why do they make her look so pissed? And Venus, like, they use such angry images. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they thought that would appeal to an American audience more, but these cards are a perfect example. Oh my God, so many memories. I don't know, I just thought this would be a cool, quick little video because these are so cool. Well, I think they're cool. And maybe one of you guys also thinks they're cool. So, okay, these, see, I need to look into this because I don't remember 
if these were in a set or if these were also from a vending machine. I want to say these were from a set. Like, you know how you could buy trading card packs? So I shouldn't say set, I should say a pack, but it's been so long I need to remember. But anyway, here are the Japanese ones. You know, I don't know, I kind of feel like these weren't official, but they were cool and they were shiny. So of course I wanted them because they were shiny. That one's cool. But yeah, I have so many. Ooh. I like the holographic ones. There was also like some Pokemon cards like this. Like not, the, you know, the playing cards, but I remember there being stickers or something. Like the holographic look was very in in the 90s when it came to stickers and whatnot and I'm not complaining you know what's funny I also have oh wait, 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 wait. that one's cute the soggy had such cute outfits they all did but I thought it was funny that I even put the playing cards in here that's how like neurotic I was about keeping all of this organized all of the playing cards like why did I do that the back's cute like why did I even buy those I, I don't know how to play cards I sure as hell didn't know how to play any card games back then. <laughs> wow, there are a lot. But I think I got them because they're all different pictures. These look really unofficial. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera. Mm -hmm. I don't know, they're just kind of like, the colors are kind of muted. I feel like, I don't know. They're probably not official, but you know what? I love them just the same. So good. So happy I have these. I don't even know what to say. I just wanted to show these and document it more, more for myself. But yeah, I'll post pictures probably on Instagram or something. But yeah, so these are my Sailor Moon trading cards. Let me know if you guys have any trading cards that you still have or that you were really obsessed with when you were a kid. I don't know if, I mean, obviously, I was going to say I don't know if trading cards are still a thing, but now they are because people are fighting over Pokemon cards. But you know, it's just, they're just so cool and fun to look at. So yeah, let me know if you guys ever collected trading cards. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.